Hey there, Wargamers and Battletech fans, Justin Aaron Payne here, and today I've got some questions for you guys. I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel, and today's going to be um, not necessarily me doing anything, which some of these videos have been me just kind of talking. Hopefully, you enjoy it. I don't think I have a particularly good radio voice or anything, but it's nice to just ramble and uh, broadcast something to the world, and if I get it just one person to get into Battletech or into hobbying at all, I think it's probably worth it. So uh, today uh, I do want to talk about uh, the fact that uh, Robert from Fortress Miniatures and Games is sponsoring some videos for me to produce on YouTube to try and get the channel going and give back to the community and do some stuff. So I've got some paints coming. I'm going to be getting a set of the um, Army Painter Speed Paints, uh, basically their version uh, or their answer to contrast paints. Um, I've never used them, so it's going to be something new. I also do a lot of detail work oriented stuff with minis. I don't do as many like fast applications. I say that and I, in, in this video when we transition, I'm going to be showing you some minis to ask you some questions. But in general, I don't use a lot of contrast paints. So it's going to be a way for me to use them, try and get some speed effects in and show you guys how I did it so that you might be able to paint some stuff for yourself. Um, he's also supplying me with some dry brushes. I already use this brand, but there's some fresh new ones, so I can show you guys what I do with those. Um, and some minis. So we'll be painting some minis. So, uh, what questions will I have for you guys? That is going to be predicated by some minis that I'm going to show you. Some of these you have seen, some maybe you haven't. If you knew the channel, maybe you haven't seen them. If you follow me on Instagram, maybe you have. So, let's transition over. I'll show you guys some minis, and then we'll get into the question part of where this video is going to go. So, hopefully you'll be clickety clackety in the comments down below uh, with some feedback on, uh, on these questions that I've got. So, with that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so um, I'm going to be talking and grabbing minis while I speak. I'm going to show you some stuff and ask you some questions. Uh, now, I'd like to predicate this by saying, um, not predicate, preface this by saying uh, the stuff that I usually do is like higher end detail work, uh, or at least that's the way that I interpret what I attempt to do, whether I hit the mark or not is a different story. Um, that said, I'm going to show you guys some of what I, I have done. Um, take a moment to look at these minis and let me know if there are effects that you think would be cool to show you. Bearing in mind that I'm going to be trying to do speed paint stuff first. I don't mind getting into the minutia of showing you detail work. Those videos take a lot longer to produce um, and they're a lot harder to do. Um, the last one I did was a few years back. I did one for my streamers when I was doing it in Patreon. Um, which I'm waffling on if I want to try that again with the channel. Uh, I want to be able to keep up with content, not just hobby stuff, but also battle reports. If I can get into it, maybe we'll ad address doing a Patreon. If I can't, it is what it is. Um, but that said, I did a Mephiston video, start to finish, everything I did on. It took a lot of time, um, and then the response to it wasn't um, exactly what I expected. Not necessarily was it bad, but there was so much content out there for like 40k tutorials that it just kind of felt like I was shining a light into an already lit room so I wasn't being noticed. That's okay. I don't have to necessarily be noticed, but if I do a, a if I spend the time, uh, a couple weeks of time um, filming and editing a, a unique piece for you guys to show you how to do it start to finish, and it's one of those com uh, more complicated ones, I want to make sure it's worth it. Um, not just for me, but for you. Like, and also if you're watching me do those things, do you care about those techniques? Um, I think probably the majority of the war gamers that are watching this are probably interested in getting a decent quality quickly. Um, they may not be as interested in going like hardcore competition level painting. I could be wrong, um, which is something you guys can sound off in the comments below on. If you're interested in like trying to learn extra techniques for painting competitions, cool. If you just want to be able to get to a higher quality of painting on your tabletop stuff fast, so you feel good about it, but you're not worried about spending you know dozens of hours on it, but they look better than um, you know a quick dry brush or something, cool. Um, that being said, um, get those fingers ready for the keyboard. Uh, if you see something on any of these minis that you like, let me know. Um, and we'll, I'll, I'll take notes and we'll see what I can uh, address and uh, uh, tackle. So uh, here is a Thunderbolt that I did. This was a, a stream one. Uh, this is an older, older paint job. Um, technique wise, obviously did some uh, dry brushing, some edge highlighting, um, some decal work, the basing. So you get a little bit of the, the orange fade on the legs. Um, 
glowing barrels. This one, the blue is more um, wet blended and edge highlighted. Uh, so there's a variety of techniques going on on this guy. Also the black paint, um, I do a little bit better with that now, but for the speed of it, not too bad. So there is an example. Pew, 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 pew. Also a big fan of the Thunderbolt, one of my favorite mechs. So um, if you like that, or if there's something on it that you know resonates with you, let me know. Okay, we've got a shadow cat. I'm not going to go through all my minis. It's just, do you see something in particular on it? And I, I feel like the first thing people are going to probably say uh, about some of these is like, oh, the canopies. I could show that. It does take uh, some time. Um, now, uh, I'm going to get out in front of this. Uh, if people talk about it, I'll probably comment in the comments below. Uh, I was working on these before Duncan posted his. I just don't do video content. Matter of fact, when he posted his video showcasing it uh, and asking, like, what are you guys working on this week? I posted my clan wolves in the comment response because I thought it was funny. The canopies that he does that look basically like this, I uh, referenced a camo specs image to get this, which I think he probably referenced the same Timberwolf I did. So, you guys... Some of you guys may be like, oh, the Duncan method, it's cool, but it's not what I did. Also, my method probably uses, like, nine paints or something stupid and takes a bunch of time. Not not to take away from his, but saying that, like, um, there are multiple ways to approach a, uh, a paint process, and I did not use his. So, be aware of that. So, I'll rotate here. Um, so, same kind of techniques. Got some edge highlights, dry brushing, same kind of basing with the fade, the dirt. Um, lenses, uh, the fade up here. Um, so yeah, just kind of examples. You know, if you see a certain technique on here you like, or if you just want to see me paint something like this, let me know. Boop. I really like the Shadow Cat. Uh, I'm a big fan of it because you get you do get the canopy at the front. It's it's very cool. And I'll show a few of the um, Clan Wolf models off that I've painted because I really like them. Um, I think that, like, same thing with this. This is the Black Lantern, I think. Same thing. You get a lot of space to work on that canopy, whereas, like, um, I guess the Puma, the other one I've got sitting here, has got some, some good room, too. But some of the models have really small slits. This guy had a really nice area to work on the canopy and a nice spot for that decal, so that worked. I don't know what sound lasers make, but I imagine it's something like that. So, um, all right. So I'll try and limit the clan wolf stuff I show um, beyond that because I think that kind of gets to the point of it. Um, I also have a little. We've got a um, these guys. I know uh, Travis from um, Renegade HPG was asking me about the the plumes on these last year at Southern Assault. I never got around to doing a video on it. If that's something people are interested, interested in, like that's not actually too, too bad. I think that was a couple of paints uh, and a dry brush. Um, not too bad. If I did it again, I'd probably push the orange a little bit more here, but eh, for what it is, I was pretty happy with it. And you can see I didn't even do any lenses on these. They're so small and you're so far away. I just, I didn't care that much. I was more worried about the mix. Okay. Um, Let's see. I will take a moment to showcase one of the Timberwolves because they look cool. It's it's a it's also a clan wolf. So um, I'll put him back in the bag here. Um, let's transition. I've got a bunch of minis here. Um, let's see here. Cool, cool, cool. Here's a good one. Give you guys an example. And I might be able to show some techniques for some of this, but in a faster way. And they might not look quite as good, but might get you like in the ballpark and be fast. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm getting at. So basically trying to determine the things that you guys would like to see so that I know kind of what to try and focus on um, for content wise. Uh, moving forward, because um, like I said, Bobby's got, uh, got me some paints coming and we want to um, use those speed paints. So if I can do some of these as an alternate version uh, or some of these techniques, how would I do it quickly without spending, you know, hours? Like, is there a way to do it? So if there's something you guys see that you like, cool. I also don't gloss my canopies anymore. Um, 
you'll notice that it's reflecting the light. That is perfectly fine in person. It looks great. It gloss your canopies. If, you, if you're not worried about photography, gloss your canopies. It looks cool. Uh, you get the sheen. It looks like glass. For photography, um, it can catch the reflection of light. And then like right here, like instead of getting green, you're just getting the light. So I map mine down now because of flash photography. But for, um, for doing this for like a, a gaming piece or even a display piece that you're not worried about photography, um, you totally gloss those. Like that's it'll 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 add a little extra oomph on the tabletop for you. Um, here's one more of my Mercs. Boom. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna get away from those. Let me put um, these back in the box. Uh, I've got some stuff that has a different degree of um, time investment in it, and I think um, those maybe they're faster, but also might be stuff that resonates because of the speed of the painting and might get um, some more interest for how to do those techniques. So I'll be curious to see what you guys think. All right, so next up I've got some stuff that is unfinished. Um, I have some things that I was working on for Republic of the Sphere. I think this is a supernova. Um, this is more of an airbrush project so far with the green and the dark green. Uh, I don't even remember exactly what colors I used. Um, but I'm pretty sure they were pro, pro acrylic. I think it's probably black green and then maybe dark camo green or light camo green, something, something like that. Um, but yeah, so like this is just the straight airbrush part. That's a thing I could talk about. I'm showing you guys doing gradients with airbrush and then the other techniques. Um, so if there's something like this you like or a color you like or this type of um, process, let me know. See what we can we can do. I've got an unfinished Kellhound I was painting for a friend of mine. Um, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how he had not been uh, coming to play um, after a, uh, a debacle. Um, he hasn't been down in almost a year now. I think I haven't played with him since November of last year, unfortunately. Um, but he plays Kellhounds, and I had been working on some Kellhounds for him um, as a, a gift, and they just didn't get finished. My motivation got sapped when he stopped showing up to play. Um, so I've got, uh, two Calhouns I'm working on and two paint schemes that are similar. Like this is the, uh, red and the, uh, dark gray black. Um, you could go a little dark if you want, but I like the fade to gray cause it makes it pop a little bit better. Uh, this is obviously not finished. It'll be time to do the canopy. Um, uh, but I've got, uh, my Karita Dragon's Fury that have a similar paint scheme. Uh, so I have a primitive rifleman here who's got similar paint it's got you know kind of got the dark legs right could be gray could be black however you interpret it um, this is meant to be gray but sometimes gray is meant to be black it just depends um, and then we've got that gradient gradient into you know the light red into dark so decal work scratches dry brushing um, basing that's a thing this is a different basing than the other ones um, happy to do some basing videos as well um, so we've got a couple of um, Dragon's Fury minis in here. Here's an Atlas. This is more my attempt at doing some, some speed work. And then um, I've got, I mean, I have a bunch of minis. We'll just showcase a handful here um, that have this paint scheme that have various different applications on them. You know, notice as I rotate them, so like dark, you notice he starts to get brighter at the top. I always like the Uzeal. I think it's got a, a very cool um, mech profile. And then the last for the Karita slash Dragon's Fury that I'll show you will be the Catapult, just because Catapult. Same thing, get kind of that gradation there. Okay. Um, and for anyone who's made it this far and is interested, I, I did used to do a lot of commissions. I'm still open to them when the commission is right. Um, I've not had as many, um, um, as much interest recently because my prices are very high. So, you know, it's unlikely I'll pick anything up, but um, I do, I try and aim for low model count, high detail work is what I like to do now. I used to do big batch painting for 40K. So, 
I'm not opposed to picking up a couple of Battletech commissions here and there, but my time is super limited, so anyone who picks one up with me, it's going to be a, a premium project. Um, so if you're interested and you like this stuff, feel free to let me know. We may be able to talk it out, but uh, be aware my prices are pretty pretty high. My time is valuable. I don't have a lot of it. So this here is a Sword Sworn Mini. I think on this one, similar techniques, airbrush, gradient, dry brush, washes, uh, scratch marks, edge highlights, decals, lenses, masking to get the two-tone, basing, so a couple techniques. I love the Bushwhacker. It's a, it's a badass looking mech, I think. I've always liked it. It's a super cool looking model. Um, we've got our, our Warhammer here. Okay, same kind of concept. Actually, this is a Warhammer 2C, my bad. I thought I grabbed the Warhammer. Um, but this will suffice, same kind of concept we got going on, the dust up on the legs, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Pew, 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 pew. Um, and we'll show, I'll show the, the awesome for these guys as well, because I showed the awesome for my um, Mercs, and this guy's got the same kind of checker pattern going on. So the, the details are crisp in there, like why not, why not play with that, you know. So that's kind of where I'm at. I really like the, the way the swords were turned out. They look freaking cool. Okay. Uh, all right. So next up, uh, I've had a request for these um, white. Um, these are probably the least good looking minis that I've got. Um, some white Comstar minis. White. Because <laughs> uh, it's grays and blacks and white. Um, you have to do that to build up the gradient. Otherwise, it's just a white blob. Um, I think the King Crab showcases this more than anything, so um, I think it's a good example. Also, the, the dust from the basin kicks up really, really nicely on the white models, so I really like that. Uh, let's see if I've got a couple other examples of um, the white minis here. And again, it's air quotes white there's white on it but it's mostly grays pushing into white because you can't get white edge highlights on white armor because it's already white like uh you have to tone it down to be able to get the bright highlight which brings you into the grays uh, and sometimes you'll see people use a, a light blue uh, or blue gray um, that works too it depends on what you're going with i just went with grays myself and let's showcase one more we've got the marauder big fan of the marauder it's a classic other than the set fact the plastic ones, the barrel tends to droop a lot. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, that gives you guys uh, some examples to look at of things that I have done. I'm going to look at my bag and see if there's anything else I've got in here. Uh, as one last cursory glance. Um, yeah, I think it's all the same kinds of stuff. Uh, I will show you what I'm working on right now because um, um, I've got it on my desk the almost completed. Uh, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, where's my Dominator at? Hang on. Um, let me grab the the Dominator real quick. Um, I was pretty sure that it was in my bag, but I didn't see it. Um, it's important to show you. Uh, because that one ha does have a technique on it I can I could do a video on. Where is he? Um, there he is. Hey, buddy. Okay. All right, so I'll show you guys two more models. Um, here's the Dominator based off of uh, the cover art for um, Divided We Fall. So we've got a Wolf's Dragoon. And this is good because I can show you um, before, not before and after, but uh, compare and contrast because you're going to see a Wolf's Dragoon that I spent some good time on and then Wolf's Dragoon I spent a lot of time on. The big deal on this one is when we flip them, when I rotate up, I'm going to try not drop them, you're going to see his engines or his jump jets. And you don't normally get to see that um, from any of the angles unless you rotate them up. So I could show you guys how to do that if that's something interesting. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. There we go. And then the final mini on my desk, one of my works in progress here, is my, my T-Wolf uh, for my, my Wolf's Dragoons. And this has uh, got a lot of time and effort put into them. 
Uh, he's almost finished. Um, actually, did I finish him? I didn't realize I finished him. He might be done. Shit, I forgot. This was the last thing I was working on. I was like, I was working on a, 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 a drunken haze before I went to work the other night. Um, I work, uh, I work uh, six to two ish, six to two a.m. Um, and I forgot. I guess, I guess I finished him. It was the Savage Wolf I didn't finish. My bad. Uh, so yeah, that, that guy's basically done. Derp. Yeah, that's funny. That's always a nice feeling when you finish a model, you don't realize you finished it. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, if you see anything here, and you'll notice, so um, before I get done here, you'll notice on his canopy, no sheen from the light. So it's a lot easier to see the detail, whereas like the Dominator here, he's got, yeah, see, same kind of angle. The light starts to reflect off and you see the white from the LEDs, whereas this guy you don't. So um, for tabletop stuff, the gloss is great. For photography, not so much. And I'm working on photography stuff because I'm doing some entries for CSO. Maybe I'll get in, maybe I don't. Um, but uh, um, the matte canopies is going to give you the best odds for flash photography. So yeah. But if you see anything there or anything else from the minis I've showed you, um, let me know. I am super interested in uh, finding out some of what you guys might like to see so that I can um, get a list of tutorial topics to see what I can feasibly do to show you guys some cool techniques. With that being said, folks, we're done rambling today, done showcasing minis, which it kind of feels like I was just trying to show off models, but... That wasn't the case. It's more I don't know what I would want to show you guys. Like, I know stuff, but I don't know what everyone else knows. And I worry that, like, people are like, I don't know how to do that, stupid. I don't want you to show me a repeat. And it's like, I don't I don't know. Um, so if, you know, who better to tell me uh, what they might want to see than anyone who's tuning into these videos. So I figured I would pop these up, show you guys a few things, and see if any uh, natural questions came up about what uh, I could show you how to do. Hopefully this was entertaining. Hopefully I had some, uh, some feedback. Please sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, based on the quality of what you've seen, is there a paint scheme you'd like to see me tackle or a technique you'd like to see me tackle that I didn't show? Uh, just because I didn't show it doesn't mean I can't paint that. I'm just not sure. These are models I painted to play with myself. So you might not have seen a paint certain paint scheme or a certain technique because it wasn't for me. Like I have decals up here for uh, Clan Wolverine and Clan Jade Falcon, for example. I've not painted those models yet. I had some plans to do one. Hasn't happened. For Jade Falcon, I'm thinking about doing black and green, Dark Age era kind of stuff, but I'm working on the black models right now, right? So it's more of the same. So I was like, eh, maybe I'll put that off for a little bit. My Wolverine project was just going to be a box set. I was going to paint the uh, Clan Invasion box with the Clan, a, a version of Clan Wolverine. Then I saw the picture on, was it Betrayal of Ideals? I think. Uh, Blaine Pardo, I think, wrote it. It's on the cover. The, there's a conflict with what the cover art shows and what the minis or the faction says online they're colored as. So I was just going to do blue blue and gray. Um, but I think the internet actually says they're like camel green or something. I don't know. But that's the point. Um, I don't play those models, those factions. If I did them, it would be a, a sub-faction to go do demos at the hobby shop and stuff like that with. So I haven't painted them yet. Um, but I do have decals for them. So if you guys have some thoughts, things you saw that you want to see, things you'd like to see me do you didn't see, sound off in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts. Love to chat with you. As always, big thank you to uh, Robert from Fortress Miniatures and Games for sponsoring these videos. Can't wait to get some painting going for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this, but I've rambled on long enough. Thank you for hanging out with me today. As always, keep painting those models, keep rolling those dice, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.